Okay, lots of good work. That's good. Okay, the quotient of a number and 10. Now, we haven't talked about quotient a whole lot. We've mentioned it only a couple times. What is a quotient? An answer. Divide. Answer. An answer implies word, word division. That's right. And a number. Which you pick? Uh, H. <laughs> Jeff, you don't got to talk over people. She already got it. So the quotient of a number in 10, the quotient goes in order like a sum or a, well, it's, I already gave that one away, um, like most of the other sentences do. So the quotient just says the first one divided by the second one. I would like to see you write these as fractions. You can write them as n divided by 10, that's fine, but also translate that back to n over 10. Have both those, those ways down in your head, I want you to know that. Let's go on to the next one. Four more than a number. What's more than? What's that mean? Okay, so we're, we're adding somehow. We're going to underline that and put plus. A number, I'll pick K. Now, does it go 4 plus K or K plus 4? What did you guys put? 4 plus K. Why we explain that? Why would it be 4 plus K? We know? More than a factor. That's right, it is. It works just like less than does. Remember, less than says it's referring to the second thing. It's coming after that. Now, this is appropriately written. 4 more than k would be k, and then you're doing 4 more than that. The difference between this one and the less than one is this. Addition is commutative, which means you can flip it around, and it doesn't make any difference. Do you understand? So if you get this one wrong, it's not going to come back and really kill you. If you get those ones wrong, it will. I would like you to write it as k plus 4 because it, that ingrains it in your head and makes sure you really get it, that you're adding 4 to the end of a number. The more than says, go to that number, take 4 more than that. That's why it's at the end of that. But it works the same as a less than. It's just not going to have as many problems as if you messed that one up. You with me on this, folks? Okay. So you want it like that? I want it like that. Okay. For the more than, yes, it goes to the end. It's just like the less than. How about the sum? What's the sum do? Multiply? Add. Add. I mean, yeah. Addition. Okay. A number. Which would be your number? The sum of a number is seven. What happened? Oh, a what now? <laughs> Seriously? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's really gross. This is so bad. Cool. I dare you to catch. No, don't catch it. <laughs> you did sign up, right? Don't catch the rat. Okay. Yeah. Okay. The rat's not the show. I'm the show. Let's go. Come on. It's just a little. It's a little. It's smaller than everybody in here. Don't worry. Just a little thing. Maybe more hair than all of this, but that's all right. Uh, so, we got the sum of a number in seven. A sum means addition. Now, the sums mean you're doing this in order. So, sum, we're just going to put p plus seven. It goes in the correct order like we think that it should. Did you get p plus seven? Yeah. Okay. Now, the last one that we're going to do, ten less than a number. This one is the important one on, the, on this, this set. The quotient and the less than. Less than does mean subtraction. A number means anything that you want it to pick. How about B? 10 less than a number. Are we going to write this 10 minus B or B minus 10? B minus 10. Very good. It, the less than comes at the very end of it. For me, I like to do this. I get like to think of it as minus 10. That way it, it sticks in my head that I'm just going to do B minus 10. How many people feel okay with what we've done today? Feel okay with somewhat? Get most of them? Mm -hmm. yeah. That's good. All right. You'll have some practice tonight. You're going to be doing some translating expressions. We'll be dealing with some equations. Feel good about the whole equation idea? You now know how to check solutions on your equations, right? Okay. The next thing that we're going to talk about, we're going to talk about integers.
Have you ever heard of integers before? Yeah. Are integers positive or negative, or could they be both? What do you both. think? So we're going to deal with positive and negative numbers. We'll see how to add them, multiply them, divide them, all sorts of stuff with it. But we're going to start that next time. We're going to, and it's a good spot for us to end right here.